Hi guys, I'm Anna Victoria, creator of the Fit Body app, and I'm going to take you through a posterior chain strengthening circuit today. And this is really great, really for everyone, but especially for those of us that are pregnant. So I'm currently 22 weeks pregnant, so let's get into it. Move number one is going to be dumbbell rows. Just grab two dumbbells, and you are going to hinge at the hips. Okay, so you don't just want to be bending over, all right? Hinge at the hips, that means like point your booty to the wall behind you, okay? What you're going to do is exhale as you raise them up, inhale as you lower them, okay? 20 reps. So when you do this move, really important to keep your core tight. So I'm going to, my core is tight right now, but I'm going to release it. See that? Now this does not allow me to fully engage my back muscles. And keeping your core tight is also what protects your spine. So it is really important to engage your core, and that is going to allow you to fully engage your back. Now, when you row these up, you're bringing them up to your torso. You don't need to shrug like this, okay? So keep those shoulders away from your ears. And when you pull the weights up, I want you to squeeze those shoulder blades together. Imagine that you have a penny in between your shoulder blades and you need to squeeze them. Okay? Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All right, so 20 reps of a bent over rows. Now we're going to do one arm dumbbell rows. So you only need one of these. And you don't need a platform for this. I do, this is honestly one of my favorite moves, so I do love using a platform. But if you don't have one, I'll show you how to do it without it. And you're gonna be doing 15 reps on each side of this move as well. So if you have a platform or a chair, you put your knee on it. You want this one just kind of angled a bit behind, so it doesn't need to be out here or directly back, just kind of out at an angle. You're gonna grab this weight, and you're going to bring it up to your torso. Exhale as you bring it up, inhale as you lower. Okay, so a few things that you do and don't want to do. First, you don't want to have an excessive arch, okay? You want your back to be flat, all right? And you want your core, of course, to be braced. So, you also, when you drop the weight, you don't want it to be going up here or here. You want it directly beneath your shoulder. And again, when you raise it up, you don't need to shrug, okay? Do you see also how my neck is moving all around? Keep your upper body and your neck in a straight line with your spine. Okay, really, really important to focus on inhaling and exhaling. Not only will that help for your endurance when doing the move, but it is the key to engaging your muscles and getting as much out of it as you can. Now for the last move, we're going to do a stiff leg deadlift. Um, so you need two dumbbells, and this is going to get glute engagement as well. Really, really important in this move is that hip hinge, okay? So we're not just bending over. If you don't know how to hinge your hips, think of it as pointing your booty to the wall behind you, okay? So inhale as you lower. Exhale as you stand. As you stand, you're pushing through your heels. So you're not lifting with your back, okay? You are pushing through your heels, which is going to help you engage your posterior chain, engage those hamstrings, engage those glutes, and then exhale. And the other really important thing when you are doing this with weights is the placement of the dumbbells. So inhale, drag them along your shins, okay? Exhale. So that's what you want to do. What you don't want to do is to let them just kind of hang out in the front of your body. Okay, so this, I'm leaning forward. It is messing with my center of gravity. I'm not able to engage my muscles the right way. So bring them here to your shins. Kind of drag them along your shins and your thighs. And then that is how you are going to be able to properly engage your glutes and your hamstrings. Last thing is your neck positioning. So you don't wanna do this, okay? That is bad for your neck, bad for your spine. So you want your spine to be in one line, in line with your neck the entire time. So just look directly in front of you. So really, the only thing that should
should be moving is your hips. Your back is not dipping over. It's just that your hips are hinging and your back is following, okay? Same thing when you push, you're hinging in reverse, <laughs> your hips and your back is following. Those are your three moves for posterior strengthening, whether you're pregnant or not. And like I said, you're gonna do those three moves, rest for 30 seconds, repeat three times, and you'll be all set. Have a great workout, guys. Thank you.